into the mall today and this is what i got i got this bag from mr price this one day um when i had a lot of stuff to carry but let's just go through what it is that i got um, you know what i mean okay cool let me see a quick and now um my memory is really not that good and right now i've really switched or uh, i've really switched up like stuff that i eat from eating the unhealthy stuff you know having takeaways most of the time and yeah just truly having all that food and basically having like a lot of snacks and sweets like i was big on that but now i just truly took a chill pull a bit on that because like um right now instead of like maybe getting um chips you know like snacks i opt to get nuts and i know like nuts are so expensive guys but for me like i'd rather have like food that really nourishes the brain and even when i do go get like vitamins i make sure that i always get omega-3s okay before we get to the vitamin part i will actually show you guys the type of vitamins that i take and what it is that i got today because like i said going back to school even though like um today like i bought most of the stuff so that um the next time like i give you guys an update i would have shown you guys like the textbooks that i would have gotten because i feel like the good part about buying these things now is that it also gives me enough time okay my camera battery is a bit low but let me just tell you what it is that i've got and the reason why i've got it the reason why i've got this is because i also feel that working with color makes everything so much better and i know that this might be different for different people you know like things are different for everyone but for me like i think the reason why i stopped covering my books was because i didn't see like the importance of it until i got to final year and it was a mess because one i couldn't really tell like which even though i had written on it but you know sometimes you're in a hurry and if all your books look the same like it's really hard for you to actually know which book is for what and because of that like i ended up using one book to write stuff that relates to different modules and for me that's obviously not good because when you have to go back to your notes your notes for text could be sitting in your accounting book and because you're in a hurry and you don't remember you have to you know so for me nah color coding everything and making sure that each module has its own color is like one thing that i'm going for right now because i know that that works for me like i said i'm big on preparation guys like now especially um so yeah that is why i decided to get these then i got these guys so i did a comparison i'm also a person who's financially savvy i went to pick and pay and one of this was 26 25.99 so it's 26 rand as opposed to on take a lot because on take a lot i actually wanted to do an order and a book is 28 rand and i know like it's just like dude it's too rand different it doesn't make much of a difference but i promise you guys when you start buying things in bulk you'd understand um the difference that the two rands i mean already i bought four books and it's two rand difference that's already eight rand that eight rand you probably could get a pen also got two flip files i actually wanted to get one flip file for each module but then i got this for 30 something rand at pick and pay which is like okay now i messed up because this one is 20 pockets and this flip file is 30 pockets but it's fine um i got a flip file because i don't know what it is that i wanted to put in here but one thing that i found to be very helpful is that when i studied i needed to print out the tutorial instead of actually like letting it on my lap instead of like doing questions on the laptop print it out put it in here so at least now you see that's what i'm saying like because of the the way i was studying like when the year would end there would be certain things or during exam season for example there'd be certain things that i'd be like i actually wish i did that you know what i'm saying but obviously because i was not prepared that is the reason why i don't do it but now because i have the time and i've learned from my previous qualification then it gives me enough time to actually prepare for the next one and do better then and then so on and so forth so i bought two of these and my plan was to have each one for each module and then yeah but if that doesn't work so if i don't have much stuff to put in this file then i can simply split these into two so two modules for this one two modules for this one so that's why i ended up getting two instead of four because i also don't know like 
how much work would I need to obviously put in these files because I'm a person who also likes writing notes like no matter how many times I've written something guys even if I've written notes like in the beginning of the semester I still have to rewrite notes because that's the best way I can grasp stuff like I can't that's just me though but anyways I ended up also getting these color papers to actually be the separators for the different module so at the top here I might write management accounting and then I might take out another one to put in the middle um, for auditing for example so I know that I could also use these things for something else as the semester progresses but like I said it's really so much better to be well prepared I got everything that I got from pick and pay so far I also do want to order more stuff from take a lot is this little journal it says i'm a unicorn or whatever something like that i choose to be a unicorn i don't believe in all those things but i ended up getting this book because this is where i'm gonna obviously write the things that i need to do also guys i'm gonna be studying part-time because of how that's obviously gonna strain me so much i've decided that you know what it's best for me to just have a book for school so that i can write everything that i need to do or maybe even concepts that i don't understand i'm gonna write here even when i need to consult i'll just write the questions here in reference to each module so that at least i remember the question and it really doesn't slip my mind because when you're under pressure guys your memory is really not that good and i feel like that is one thing that i've learned this year like when you are working in a very stressful environment stress does impact your brain and that is why like i've made the conscious decision that i'm going to start having um foods that nourish my brain because so other things that i got oh sorry um i also got pencils um i like clutch pencils but there's a point where those things stop working for some odd reason but i will get a clutch pencil but i'm getting these um just in case then moving on to the vitamins that i have um for starters when i went to the mall i actually got sleeping pills don't recommend these things if you're gonna be struggling but yeah i actually got sleeping pills from this game the reason why i got that is because i do have days like i said because of how stress more stressful my job is at times i do have moments where i cannot sleep so now imagine when i add school onto that i'm obviously gonna have days where my mind is just up and running or days where i stress about like how did i do for that test vitamin time so i got sleeping pills because of that um so that I'm, my body's able to shut down even times where i'm tired and i need to rest and i don't have to sleep you know sometimes like you choose sleep but sleep doesn't choose you so at least i'll be able to rest i got um omega threes this vitality omega-3 like i said we need vitamins to obviously nourish the brain and um yeah so this also helps with like heart pro all your heart health as well um because my memory is really not that great anyways i also got probiotics because i know that these help a lot when it comes to women so i got these probiotics um these help with your gut health well my sister also told me like probiotic works because they help with gut health and then i also got some zinc i know this is gonna seem like a lot of vitamins but yeah i got some zinc because apparently that helps with um healing that helps with like healing so basically when you have wounds it helps you to heal those helps with like your metabolism which i think i really struggle a lot with that and yeah i don't know like other stuff um iron supplements so this is what i have because i do have an iron deficiency um especially when i'm close to going to especially when i'm close to being on my periods so um iron supplements very important for me because yeah i get so tired guys like I, I think i really get to a point where i just become very sleepy in an unhealthy way one thing that i also got today okay no one more thing that i actually got before we get to that magnesium very important because when you're tired this helps when you're tired this helps before you go to bed you drink magnesium um drink magnesium this combo is really good for a student listen to me take my advice this combo is really good for you as a student brain memory exhaustion so i am a person who pretty much struggles with um 
concentration i don't know if i've told you guys that but i always need something to wake my mind up and then one thing that i do do is that one thing that i've always had in my life i still drink even now when i do work is turbo vites so i drink the blue turbo vite like the the one that you dissolve in water the sachet i drink that but unfortunately that got finished this week because i had such a stressful week but that is what i prefer i prefer drinking turbo vites and especially opting for the alcohol free one i don't usually like drinking syrups but for me the one that you dissolve in water 10 out of 10 get the box today i went to the scam and because like i got so many stuff today i was just like getting this right now is really going to like is gonna do a lot for me financially yeah long shy long shy but what i ended up doing is i got these table vice syrups and yes i just said right now i don't drink syrups but i got these two and most importantly i actually checked there's one that does have alcohol but i always opt for the one that is alcohol free because i remember my colleague at work told me to not drink these um like stuff like bioplast for example where um the sachets consist of alcohol because in the long run it does create some form of damage um so i got this turbo vite um there's a green one as well but the green one when i checked it had caffeine and i don't want to drink anything that consists of caffeine so i ended up opting checking here for these ingredients because i know that they're very good with concentration my psychologist recommended two things one is this ginkgo biloba ginkgo biloba so this is how it looks like at this camp you can find it there this actually helps with concentration so if you're a person like myself who really struggles with concentration i'd suggest that you try this out this is gonna be my first time trying it and then um, yeah i hope that it really works but because i've never tried it before i thought this is actually gonna be the perfect time for me to try it so if you struggle with concentration this is the girl that you think she is get her so this i know it works for sure i know it works because yo i drank this guys and i used to like be up like my brain would never feel tired like i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense because you know when you study sometimes you feel like yo this is actually information overload and i'm getting tired when i used to drink this and i remember i tried this out when it was still covid boy this works guys i'm telling you this works try it and the thing is it doesn't even feel like you have caffeine because most of the time the reason why i'm saying don't have these supplements because when you try to drink something that has caffeine to wake you up you can feel that i've had caffeine i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense it's like you're jumping off the walls i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense but basically when you have caffeine you can feel that i've had caffeine if you drink red bull you can definitely tell that i just had red bull i don't know if i'm the only one who feels like that but for me i definitely can tell but once you have these but once you have these you don't even feel that feeling it's like your brain is like not getting tired on its own like it feels like you can push you're not stressed you i swear guys you see how what it says here it says optimize brain function and combat stress it's true these things work so the reason why i actually got these things right now because i know like right now it might seem like i got a lot of stuff basically boils down or back to what i had said in the beginning where i said when you have the money to buy something rather buy it i also did check these polls to see like when they actually aspire um when i was still at the scam and the state is very important because this one is 09 2025 and yeah these ones are 09 2025 there's 30 in a box by the way and these ones the ginkgo biloba is also 30 in the box and these ones is also 09 2025 last two things on how to cope with school 101 the vitamins that you need okay um <clears throat> obviously getting yourself a big bottle like mine will obviously come very handy this is two liters our water you need a bottle because water is very vital but i wasn't even gonna include that but since it was already in the background i was just like one more thing that i forgot to add by vitamins i also do um drink these biogen multivitamins plus because i'm not a person who always has fruits i'm not a person who always has i don't know nutritious food sometimes i like could just make rice and gravy and that's done and i could literally eat that for the longest of time you know what i'm saying so to also ensure that you guys get like 
um, a diverse set of nutrients it's very important that you also take multivitamins because they're very helpful this whole hot water bottle is burning my ass <laughs> Okay, cool. So the last thing that I actually wanted to speak about because I know that I might have not touched on this and you guys might be amazed to go tea. The big question, why are you not touching on that? And I know you guys were going to ask me about the most important thing. What do you take for anxiety? That's if you guys have anxiety, of course. <laughs> I mean i do i do hey my course has given me so much ptsd and trauma i don't want to lie like i know i joke a lot but that thing we my guys like that shit is difficult yo i know you guys are going to ask me what do i take for anxiety because i've had my friends ask me a lot about this as well like what is it that you used to drink for anxiety so on and so forth i take this so like i said at some point my psychologist also recommended this for me she recommended the ginkgo biloba and she also recommended gerber this actually works so much because especially when you have like intense anxiety so yeah if you don't if you have like if your anxiety is not that intense i would obviously suggest that you opt for something that is not that intense as well like maybe um, really calm because I know for me when I was in school really calm did not work like I said because I had like such intense anxiety So maybe like offer things like really calm if your anxiety is not that bad You know what I'm saying? I like some people like myself Where it, it shoots up like when it shoots it shoots up So yeah, if you're a person like myself then I would suggest that you take GABA but maybe even if your anxiety is not that intense maybe take off a tablet because this also kind of helps when I go to bed and I find that I have so much tension and I can't sleep then I would take off a pill of GABA so it's very important that you obviously do take something that would work for your anxiety so for me this does wonders this is something that you'll always find in my work bag You'd always find it in my school bag. You'd find it in my work bag. Out of everything that I've said, this is one thing that you're always gonna find in my work bag and school bag. Okay, so, um, I don't know. My memory card is glitching. So, a few things that I actually wanted to add. Um, the MacBook that I bought that i bought you guys would have seen i actually bought it for school like that was my main purpose so i guess i'm just going to add it onto this this little babe that you guys are seeing right here i bought her for school so i guess i'm just gonna add her onto this list because having a laptop is the most important thing and i had a conversation with one of my friends and he was telling me the importance of having a versatile laptop because he told me such an interesting fact that not all laptops um were catered to do certain like all things but with apple products like they cater to everything because i just realized that oh when i was still on my sticky job like oh school starts tomorrow oh, tomorrow's the start of monday and so i'm basically not gonna have enough time to obviously like work on both stuff like still think oh do you you haven't bought textbooks then i'm still stressed you know like i'm stressed i have to run to fanscape fanscape is charging me insane amounts now i must go and take a lot take a lot now you, you understand what i'm saying so it's better to just focus on these things while you're still calm because you're like i swear guys most financial decisions that you make like like abruptly most okay financial impl there's okay what i'm trying to say is that there's a bigger financial implication on decisions that were made abruptly so that's where i'm going with this chat so if you are on panic mode you end up just buying anything for the sake of having it now because of how urgently you need it that's why i'm saying that in life be well prepared and get things way before because if you don't then it's obviously going to be a problem so that is why like i kept doing things bit by bit got the books first got the planners after got the macbook got the bag right now in jan so it's better to just split your stuff out so that you don't feel financially overwhelmed because of how fast things move the list of textbooks that i am going to need this year and if you see properly you will see that for auditing there's an optional textbook at the top but the ones that are not optional there's three of them for auditing one two three most important textbooks then there's one for financial reporting which there's obviously like another one and then um yeah there's these other textbooks as well but like i said there's also additional textbook there's an additional one that i think they skipped okay but anyways um 
I just showed you guys that short list that you guys just saw of my textbooks this um, there's this store called okay you guys are going to see right now I'll show you at the bottom because hey, it's gonna be tricky I want to show you guys something right to show you guys what I'm saying about this financial implication thing right as you can see there's auditing fundamentals of 980 right that's a bundle so basically if you buy these two textbooks you buy them for that price rather than buying one textbook for 650 and the other one for 500 so i mean what am i saying oh yes i'm right <laughs> 650 and the other one for five i'm rounding this amount off 500 and then even though it's not a 99 but now i round off but yeah so that together make because i don't know what it's doing but anyways these text, two textbooks together makes 1150 if i'm not mistaken unlike when you scroll here you get these two textbooks bundle 980 so if you do have those options go for it get those bundle options um rather than just wasting your money yeah boy. this is an advanced case studies to external audit that is 500 and 89 right i'm trying to outsmart the system by the way instead of buying textbooks that i'm not going to need the following year i'm buying textbooks now that i will need for this year and next year because life cannot be like this guys Bumi bumanga for real anyways i want to scroll down so this advanced case studies in external audits you can see the price is 589 I'll show you what the price is on take a lot the same book that i showed you guys goes for 700 rand just to show you on to this one so this is basically the new cycle student handbooks if accounting standards they look like this i think that they are quite pretty as compared to the old ones so when we look at these standard textbooks they'll go for 1000 200 rand and you have a look at take a lot when you look at the psycho student handbook ifrs 2023 it goes for 1350 the points that i'm trying to make here right we're just going to elaborate on the points when you do these things make sure that you do them calmly and that you compare comparison is obviously quite great i also did do a comparison with fanscake and it turns out that it's also a little bit below take a lot but above this website so what i'm just trying to tell you guys is that for this website when i order my textbooks including delivery it's three thousand something for the textbooks that i'm buying as opposed to take a lot i think it's three thousand um three thousand and fifty if i'm not mistaken when i buy it on this side however if i buy it on take a lot the same things that i'm buying here excluding sticky notes so on the site that you guys saw on my macbook i included sticky notes which obviously brought it to that three thousand and fifty so technically if i remove the sticky notes maybe it would relatively be around two thousand nine hundred and something but what i'm just trying to get to with this point is that when you look at this i ordered all these say that i ordered the same textbooks on take a lot and when you see the total it comes down to three thousand two hundred and ninety rand and now when you actually assess the situation when i include delivery there and like let me show you guys. textbooks on the cart this is my cart on the side that you guys are seeing here same textbooks that i'm ordering on take a lot right now the total comes down to 2858 right but then let's say check out when i include the delivery fee my stuff comes down to three thousand a hundred no three thousand and thirty five rand literally what i'm just trying to tell you guys is that when you make these decisions like small decisions obviously to you it might not be a big thing right but what i'm just trying to say is that when you compare these amounts technically you could fit in a few books you know for stationary pens sharpeners i don't know a pencil case i don't know but what i'm just trying to say you guys is being money savvy i'm just trying to show you guys an example that being money savvy has to do more with comparison as well like do things in a calm manner because the way that you feel could literally result in you making the worst financial decision ever and i know like right now the context might be different because obviously this context is like 
different but i feel like you guys should just truly tackle life like that even when it comes to your groceries just because you're so used to doing groceries at pick and pay doesn't mean that you should not opt for macro when you find that macro whatever you spend at pick and pay you could literally get twice as more at macro i'm just making an example but what i'm just trying to say guys is that the cost of living is insanely high in this country and obviously maybe i'm speaking like this because obviously i'm a person who's very much in control of their finances and i'm not a rasvan baby so everything that i do i literally have to do it myself like paying for school i have to just make sure that that is paid <laughs> You know, I have to work hard, pay for school, pay for books, pay for, pay for, pay for, pay for, pay for. For that matter, that is part of the reason why I make sure that when I get like planners and journals, I invest in the bright ones. I bought this one from Typo. It is quite on the pricier side, considering that this is a journal. It is on the pricier side, right? looks like that it is a wellness journal i know people ask me about this one but basically what i'm saying is that i also bought planners for school like i said i went to typo bought four books i think i bought four journals don't ask me why i <laughs> i'm big on planning okay but when we look at the stuff when you look at the amount here this journal does go for 300 rand right that, that's what i'm saying like for a journal it does pretty much go on the pricier side however the reason why i bought this journal and the reason why i was sold on buying this journal is because i think i mentioned this in one of my videos the secret santa video or come day in the life go to work with me day in the life of coming to work with me i don't know something along those lines this my darling friend this see this page this budgeting page is what made me buy this journal this I feel like it's so important for you guys to actually track your spending habits and from there like you'll actually see what where your money goes and if you're a person who's just like i get paid i don't know where my money goes print out that three month bank statement sit down with yourself and have an honest conversation reflect and start breaking down your amounts how much you spend on entertainment how much you spend on airtime how much you spend on this how much you spend on that each and every single month i feel like it's going to give you like a tr the truest quote unquote because there's obviously no such word as truest but the basically like a clear depiction of where your money goes and what you need to work on right uh but basically what i'm just trying to say guys is that saving money doesn't need you to do i don't know crazy stuff bruh like it doesn't need you to do the craziest of the craziest stuff like saving money can be the best i don't know it, it it comes in the easiest of things and i just showed you guys right now proof that if you are a person who just makes decisions like in like spur of the moment decisions when it comes to your finances also shown i'm telling you also shown so you better literally sit down with yourself think how am i going to cater to this what is it that i need like i told you guys right now that there are textbooks that i'm not going to buy because as you guys saw my total comes to three thousand something so imagine if i keep adding textbooks and to be fair there's really textbooks that i feel like i could literally get away with um depending with how detailed the slides are but if then i assess and i see what's okay they're not details at a later stage i can still buy those textbooks um but one thing i know for sure the reason why i got the textbooks that i need now is because i need to work on that now i need to start flagging my standards i need to start flagging my handbooks like i just really need to start flagging that is why i also bought those flagging which i feel like i need to actually just double it right here actually because those things are actually quite expensive and take a lot and i pretty much don't find them like in stores like you pick and pay your stationery stores i don't know why i don't find flaggers whatever you call them okay i did purchase these pens i think these pens were 100 grand if i'm not mistaken they were on sale on take a lot when i made my last take a lot order so i bought 50 pens because one thing about me the reason why i bought so many pens and my sister was also sure good luck why would you buy so many pens is because i never think of buying pens so i'm just that person and when i never think of buying an item i always buy it in bulk same thing with my toiletries i just never think of getting like toiletries like that i always forget to buy roll-ons and whatever the case is so getting it in bulk always works best so that's exactly what i did this time around and what i'm uh, what i'm gonna do later on today because i'm really striving for an early night which might be ambitious entertainment or what i can do is i have to basically decide if i'm actually going to push work right now on a sunday or wake up insanely early tomorrow and push work and by early i mean like five o'clock early like start working so that i can push as much work because we are currently going through like a month in audit 
a year end sorry year end audit and you know how oh guys that thing is just the most strangest thing imagine you're going through a year end audit on top of that you're about to dive into month end am i not caught to shoning like i literally have a lot of samples to submit by work so i literally need to give myself some time to work on those and that is why i'm just thinking maybe i need to start working early but you know what i think i'm gonna have an early night tonight because i still need to push like youtube and i still need to cover my books so at the end of the day i also need to be quite realistic school starts for tomorrow for me so i'm gonna have like a longer day tomorrow my day is gonna start in early in the morning around about five and then i'm going to attend classes my classes start at half past five so I'm gonna make sure this time around that by five o'clock going forward I am off. So I better have to I basically have to start school like I mean start work insanely early, like five, like I'm saying. It's obviously gonna be a challenge when I have to go to the office, but I have to start work very early and then make sure that I end at that particular time. Because where I work, I don't know like there's no such thing as knocking off. And I mean this guys, like I equal in the Ifana Lukshaisa, like those people just don't sleep and the work there never ends. So it's a lot. You just don't knock off. Like literally 9 p.m. could literally hit you and you're still working on recons or basically reports that you need to submit or whatever the case is, like you're still working on something. You know, um which is quite tiring thinking about it. But anyways, here we are. Um, but yeah, right now I also just also want to start planning my my schedule, schedule, schedule. That. I just need to start planning that and then see how I can tackle it. Like basically plan how my schedule is going to look for the week. How am I going to tackle school? And also tackle it in a way that I also give myself enough time to rest. That is so important because guys, with my 9 to 5 alone, I don't sleep. Like... I'm that like you know what I'm saying and now adding school on top of it is just like yes yeah, I don't know if I'm really shooting myself in the foot or what should I put it on hold should I not you know but I'm just like I actually want to do this because it shall end in CASA darling it shall end in CASA anyways um that's pretty much what I need to work on and then yeah I think I really need to just jump into planning write my gratitude journal catch up with god have a bible study like basically my schedule needs to include all these things because those are important things to me and yeah i think life is good all the time and all the time life is good so yeah so far i'll give you guys an additional update once my textbooks come today is what is today's date oh. today is the 28th of january and i feel like i'm gonna wrap this video up as soon as my textbooks come in then we're gonna do an unboxing of that textbook and i guess this whole video will come to an end my getting ready my back to school vlog whatever the case is and yeah that's how it goes boo that's how it goes so yeah i pretty much touched on a lot of stuff touched on the supplements that i use for school i feel like i just need to do a breakdown just in case you skip the video but yeah i did a breakdown basically with this video i did a breakdown on supplements that i'm gonna need for school my books and covers textbooks that i'm gonna need equipments that i will need for school including laptop and bag and planners if i'm not mistaken is this is literally what the store is sherwood sherwood books right it's situated in durban and i'm literally scrolling please screenshot when you screenshot it's not only for accounting books but textbooks in general so yeah this store is quite reasonable as you guys have seen right now and the shipping costs are 177 i don't know if but i think it's that because it doesn't also state so you can also collect in the store if you're from durban and then yeah so yeah for me this is basically all that you need and also yeah, log into their site. Send them an email if you got a query. Hey guys, um, not my battery being low. Mm. Do this quickly. Today is Tuesday, the thirtieth of Jan. So crazy because last time I checked in with you guys, I was actually buying my books from Sheer Woods. I think Sheer Books or something like that. <laughs> that store in Durban that I showed you guys. And today is Tuesday, and my books got delivered tuesday morning like literally in the morning my books got delivered using dsv love that bookstore because they know what business is and i really wish people knew that like they just know their business which i didn't expect my books to come this quick but anyway actually the box i went to the office today so i actually asked my dad to like get it for me 
but this is the box and he said that it is insanely heavy which also felt that it is really going to try and do a quick unboxing show you guys the legislation and what's popping but personally i'm tired i feel like i just need to sleep it's five o'clock right now and i'm supposed to be having a class right now but for some odd reason my team's links are not working i don't know if it's my team's or it's the links and you know what i'm tired like i'm so finished guys like yo i'm depleted i'm gonna go sleep <laughs> i can't i genuinely don't know how you guys do this whole thing of like working and studying like like working full-time studying part-time or whatever the case is whatever yo i don't know how you guys do it but me I'm done like I'm so depleted I'm so tired I'm currently going through like year end audit at work I'm finished next week is month end so you can understand how triple depleted I am we're still finalizing year end like right now yo gosh I am so tired real I'm so tired so I have to cut here Anyways, unboxing my legislation. This is how we're looking like. Please look at how thick these textbooks are. My goodness, look at this. Look at how thick these things are. My goodness, I already have anxiety. Dina Limpatik say anxiety. It is going to end in CA. It is going to end in CA. Say Mazal. 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 Phone nearly fell. Anyways, guys, um, yo, I'm actually so tired today. I need a nap. Like, I really need a serious nap so that I can wake up early and then hopefully tomorrow in the evening I can actually start with my school stuff because it's go time. It's go time at work. It's go time here. I need some tips, guys, on how you do this because <laughs> I'm new to this life and I'm already overwhelmed. Like, I literally get anxiety attacks like midday, like when I'm at work because I'm just like, yo, I don't know how I'm going to do this, you know, but I just really need to calm down and pray about this tonight. But anyway, I guess this will be the end of the series. Anyways, this is actually the final products of my lovely books. <laughs> they are so freaking thick. Oh, cries in Spanish. Cries in freaking Spanish. I don't want to lie though, if you have seen the text textbook, how thick it was like during undergrad, I always used to cry and I'm like, oh, oh God, so thick. But when I see this, <laughs> like when I see this, I'm like, but thank you for joining me in my series of preparing for school. Um, maybe we still might get some few stuff here and there. But I hope you definitely did enjoy my prep with me back to school kind of vibe. And yeah, we back on. I just need to cover my books. I don't know when I will get the time to do it. But I will do it. But yeah, I hope this was very informative. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Wish you guys all the best of luck with your academics. For the year of 2024, we are gonna start off strong and end off strong. Er, uh, okay. All right, bye guys. <laughs>